going on? What's popping? It's your girl Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio, a place where we talk about celebrity gossip, celebrity news, trending topics. If you're here, girl, don't leave without subscribing. If you're a channel subscriber, I want to say special shout out to you. And anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into some things. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, my God. We're going to talk a little bit about some things that I've been seeing going around social media. I told you guys I took some break, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. For some people who don't like me like that or don't like to hear my voice, be ready to be sick of me because I didn't just come with tea. I come with a total herbal tea. So I hope that you're ready because of honey. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey. Anyway, let's get straight into some things, you guys. So yesterday... Uh, we talked about the tea that Mangi came out and said because Baby Girl got wasted a little bit tipsy and went online live and uh, unfortunately said some not so good things about so many people. Uh, Mangi talked about Zuchu the most. Uh, she talked about Kajala and harmonizing situation, which I think it's so messed up. She also talked about Dida and uh, Dida was, for those who don't know her, she was a very prominent uh, media personality on Wasafi. She played a major role when it comes to Tanzania and their, you know, media personality, basically. She, she was a very good presenter at Wasafi. So people went in on her telling her, girl, you went in too much. Like, I've heard Mangi say so many nastiest thing about so many prominent people, include Tanzanian president, when she insinuated that she liked girls. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. y'all remember when Mangi's page went? Yes, around that time. So, Mangi went on her page and apologized. I have a feeling like she did not apologize about any other thing except for the Dida, okay? Anything she said about Zuchu is something that she has said in the past. Everything she said about uh, Kajala is something that she has said in the past. I have a feeling like she got haunted by Dida's memory on how she really, really trashed her on that uh, live that she did. That I'm sure she knew goddamn well that blogs were in their screen recording. So let's read uh, her apology and then tell me how you all feel about it. Do you actually feel the apology or not? And I'm going to tell you exactly how Ms. Uchida decided to clap back at uh, Mangi, even though I feel like every time Zuchu does that, it's like she's giving Mangi relevancy, okay? It's enough that Zuchu herself has come out to actually prove that what Mangi has been saying about her is true when, you know, she talked about the relationship. Of course, Mangi was the first one to say that Zuchu and Diamond Platinums were dating when uh, uh, Mangi has talked about Zuchu, you know, not being in Diamond Platinum house, Zuchu going in Diamond Platinum's house and breaking stuff. All of these things are the things that Zuchu herself have come out to shed in some light and say that they were actually true. So it's hard to doubt Mangi's words at this point. That's why I have a feeling this apology was basically uh, directed towards Dida and her family. Okay, she wrote in the quote, Mangi Kimambi, Mungwana Akikosa Huomba Msamaha. Okay, Mimi kwa kupost nilivyo, nilio nayo sitakiwi. Mimi kwa position nilio nayo sitakiwi ku lose control hata dakika moja maana mna masiri makubwa ya nchi na misiri ya umbea na watu wananiamini kunipa habari jana nilikuwa nilikuwa na stress mno baada ya kulala stress ziliisha nikafanya upuzi she also continues say naomba niwaahidi ndugu zangu ili tukio halitokei kujirudia tena kuna watu tumeambiwa tumeumbwa kuna watu tumeumbwa Akili zetu ni robo so hatutakiwi kuongeza chochote kichwani. Okay? She's blaming it on the alcohol, honey. <laughs> Let's continue. Wote tulio wakwaza naomba msamaha na mie ni binadamu ila machozi nilio Lilia nchi yangu baada na lia mpaka sasa. It's true. Sad inapo, uh, inapo 
kuwekelea Tanzania na watu wote milioni sitini hata okay I didn't even get it what she was trying to prove there or what she was trying to say because she she lost me a little bit okay she lost me a little bit okay According to what I'm getting from this statement to Mananswali listeners she was trying to say that she is apologizing to anybody that she might have wronged of course she wronged people she wronged Dida's uh, little girl you know she also went ahead and say that people like us who have a say or a voice in the society or in the community we should watch what we say because people actually believe whatever it is that we say and some of us we don't need to use something to influence who we are because we are already extra so when we add something extra it goes extremely extra so she is trying to blame everything she said on the alcohol which i feel like it's so unfortunate because Where's the accountability girl? You went in there and said that the reason of somebody not being with us on this planet earth today was because of something that I'm sure you probably don't have evidence. The same way you went on your platform and talked about Anasha Donna's son's medical report talking about the kid has this and this and that without having concrete evidence and then coming out to actually apologize which is so wrong. You know what I'm saying? In as much as Mangi is a very no nonsense blog. Okay, don't get me wrong, she's good at her job just like a uh, Wendy Williams was good, but baby there's something called karma. Okay? There's something called karma. And I feel like she should really really be careful with what she utter out of her mouth because when she said something that is not right or she gave her some false information and she come out to actually claim that she has evidence which she don't have most of the time. I have a feeling like when somebody is praying and is asking God why is this person lying on to me and this person goes on their knees I mean everything that you want to happen to them reverse and actually happen to you you know what I'm saying so that's why I felt like her apology was somewhat iffy to me I don't believe that apology and of course if you go on um Zuchu's um uh is uh snapchat okay because that is where all the dirt happened zuchu is talking about oh uh, that the chosen one or oh, people are trying to cling on their star oh my goodness tanzanian people na nyota but anyway it is what it is if you ask me i feel like zuchu should just keep quiet don't talk about it because if there's one thing in two for sure you can't go to 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 with mangi first of all you are giving her unnecessary clout when you're talking about a situation that she's putting out there it's like you're giving her some sort of relevancy and many people actually talking about it and also there's this video going viral of zuchu uh receiving our words <laughs> and i want to talk about this okay so there's this video let me try and play it over here Zuchu seemingly was receiving the award and uh, instead of picking the award first it's how he snatched that award away from that man's hand and did not shake that man's hand like it's how she snatched it first and did not shake the man's hand and walk away and that is what is rubbing people differently people are saying we told you so this girl is so feeling herself she's so arrogant and i would say like maybe it's not the way it is many people who sent me this video are asking me drizzy can you put your two cents into it and i'm telling them maybe at that point zuchu had a lot in her mind we probably don't know like what was happening because i asked these people do Z does zuchu have a prior drama with this person do they have a situation that went down that we probably don't know about and they said no and or they don't know about probably something happened behind the scene that we don't know about but uh we only saw what we saw probably zuchu just took their word and she had a lot in her head and that is how people in, are interpreting it like zuchu is so arrogant she didn't want to shake the man's hand zuchu has received so many awards in and outside 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 uh, Tanzania she ought to have known the routine on how you know you pick the words and you must shake the hand you must go out to give the speech and 
and all these things. So people are basically saying that she knew exactly what she was doing and she chose to do that because of the whatever drama they had going on or somebody pissed her off or it was around the time she was throwing shots at Mojaku or around the time she was telling Mojaku that I'm getting married very soon even though I don't believe that story. Yeah. If you haven't watched that video, kindly go on my YouTube channel on my previous video will be able to see where I talked about how Mojaku came out to say that Zuchu told her, told him, sorry, I beg your pardon, that she's getting married next year on her birthday. And Mojaku asked Zuchu, is Diamond Platinum going to marry you finally? But she didn't, he didn't tell us exactly what Zuchu told her. He only told us that Zuchu and Diamond Platinums have broken up. Mangi Kimambi also said a few weeks back, uh, Zuchu was kicked out of Diamond Platinum's house, basically. Uh, that's all I have to say for now. But anyway, tell me how y'all feel about it down in the comment section. Do you actually buy Mangi's story? And do you feel like, such, you know, Mangi or to have known better not to talk about somebody who has passed away. And, you know, it's still hurting many people because, you know, his, her space is still there. Her videos are, are still on the internet. Her, it, this person wasn't even sick for a long time that people forgot about this person. This person, barely a month before passing, she was on air giving uh, out her, working basically, people hearing her voice. And less than a month, somebody talking ish about their passing like this, I feel like it's so wrong. And Mangi has said so many nastiest things about people on TZ that I feel like when it reached a point that she had to apologize for this one, who knows, maybe Dida popped up on her dream and choked her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she decided to apologize. So what can we say? And I tell you how you feel about it down in the comment section. Keep me classy, stay with you, let's jump in the comment section. And of course, as always, more love you to the moon and back. Ciao, ciao.